In today's video, we are taking a look to see what happens if you put bread and bread dough in a vacuum chamber and maybe see what happens if you bake it. If you guys haven't heard, we want to send you a King of Random project every single month. It comes with everything you need to make something awesome, so click the link in the description to go check it out and let's get today's video started. Guys, over the years, we've had a lot of comments asking us to put bread and bread dough in a vacuum chamber, and a surprising number of these comments, in fact, so we wanted to try out several of these at once. This is just a loaf of bread. Yeah, I bet you'd I, already figured that part out. I got that one. This right here, we've got some pre-made cinnamon rolls and just some pre-made bread rolls. These are the kind that you buy frozen and then you let thaw, you so let this, them rise. This is just regular dough? It's just bread dough, cool. yep. Then over here, of course, we've just got some Pillsbury biscuits. It's a different type of bread dough. It's in a can. And we're gonna see what happens if we put all of these in a vacuum. But not only are we going to put these in a vacuum chamber, which I think will be pretty cool because I think the, just the dough, I think it's gonna expand a lot. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. But we do want to do some experiments to see if we can cook it while it's still in a low pressure situation. These cinnamon rolls, for example, the way you're actually supposed to prepare them is you take them frozen and then you put them in the microwave and cook them. <laughs> well, that's easy. So we can try taking one of those rolls, putting it in a mason jar, pulling out all the air, and then with the lid in place, holding it in a vacuum, throw that in a microwave and see if we can cook it in a vacuum. See what that does. That would be amazing. Now there's two different things I wanna try with the bread. I wanna try one, I wanna see if we can actually hit critical mass where it actually starts to like collapse in on itself and then one, see how big we can get it and then cook it like that. Will we get super fluffy bread or not? So with the raw dough, something that a lot of people have asked about is if we vacuum it and then, you know, let the air back in and then cook it, are we going to end up with like extra dense bread? Did we suck all of the air out of the dough or did we just sort of expand it a little bit? So we can take some of these rolls, we can vacuum them and then just normally throw them in the oven and see what they're like after we cook them. Here's the basic idea. We've got a few types of bread and bread dough and we want to see what happens if we depressurize them and if it's possible to cook them while they're in that depressurized state. We've just got one roll worth of dough and we just put that right down in the middle. All right, how much is this going to expand? I think it's at least gonna triple. That's my, that's my guess. Oh, growing immediately. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, it didn't even double. Slowed, slowed down, it grew really fast for like a second Let's and then see. calmed down a bit. Okay, it's growing a little bit. We're getting about to the maximum vacuum that we can pull. I was so wrong. I thought for a second that you were going to be like wrong the other direction. I thought it was going to like octuple in size. <laughs> and it is still growing a little bit right now. Not much. Tiny bit, yeah, but not much. I think that's probably about as much as I it's going to go. I think that's it. I think that's all we got. All right, let's see how much it collapses when I let all the air back in. <laughs> a lot, a lot collapses. That that's is... not bread anymore. Mmm. That's a pre-cooked cracker. We've made flatbread. I don't know, even flatbread has air in it. Um, I do think there's yeast in this bread, so I think if we left it for a while, it would start growing again. Mm -hmm. But let's not give it a chance. I say let's just try a Pillsbury biscuit. All right. Taking him right out of the tube, throwing him in the vacuum chamber, and we're gonna see what happens to him. All right, let's go for it. Instant growth. Hey. But similarly, it didn't last. Nope. It grew very, stopped. very quickly and then not much more. And actually it shrunk back down a little bit. It did. It's not really doing much. So there is air in it, but maybe that air isn't well trapped. Like it can all maybe. escape or something. Yeah, they're just kind of staying there. Oh, wait, there we go. Little it's like some tiny surface again. bubbling. I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to get again. Could be. But do you think it's still going to collapse as hard as the other one did? I think it will collapse. I think it won't collapse quite as much. All right, let's find out. Ready? Ready. Collapsed. It's just so Didn't sad. collapse as much. Oh, that feels dense. Wait, let me see. Yeah, that doesn't. You know what this feels like? Hockey pasta. Puck? Oh. It feels like pasta before you cook it. I am just curious. I've taken one of these Pillsbury biscuits and I've squished it down into a ball shape. No idea if that'll change anything, but I do want to try it. Let's find out. Growing. <laughs> growing. Growing. What did you do? I squished it and now it stopped growing again. Okay. So my theory was that maybe it was very open poured and all the air is able to escape. So by squishing it, I was thinking maybe I would close off some of those air cells. Mm -hmm. And I think it maybe worked a little bit, but it still just got to a point where 
all the air would escape. Pretty similar. I think it did grow a little bit more and squish back down a little bit more. So we have a hockey puck, a sad sugar cookie, and I don't know what you've got there. Oh, very no. sticky oh, and gooey. Oh no. Growing, growing. <laughs> it's growing much longer. Good. Wow, can't say that. It's growing for more time. <laughs> All the like cinnamon sugar frosting stuff inside is just bubbling away. The saddest Sad looking sweet roll. Saddest cinnamon roll I've ever seen. These are supposed to be microwaved cinnamon rolls. We're also supposed to just microwave them while they're frozen. So maybe instead of the full minute, we'll try giving it 45 seconds and see how that does. Okay, here is our <laughs> properly cooked cinnamon roll. And this was frozen and thrown in the microwave for one minute as instructed. And here is our thawed, vacuumed, and then cooked for what? about 45 seconds cinnamon roll. Um, Tear a piece off this. Is it different? Is it is it fluffier? Is it denser? It's a little bit fluffier, but actually not that much. The one that we thawed, vacuumed, and recompressed, and then cooked, I'd say it is a little bit chewier, a little bit denser, but it's not a huge difference. The biggest change, I think, is that this one's ugly because <laughs> we we were like swishing it as we picked it up. You couldn't you couldn't really get a good handle on it, so. For something you can microwave from frozen in one minute. Not bad, okay. Probably better than a Pop-Tart. There mm. you go. All right, guys, it's time to try the entire loaf of bread. There you go. Is it even moving? I don't think so. I don't see any movement. No. There was some vapor appearing, but that pretty much always happens when we depressurize. I think that's it. All right. I'm gonna go with there was zero change. That, that was about as exciting as when we put a rock in the vacuum chamber. <laughs> about the same amount of change. All right, does vacuumed bread taste any different? The texture is still the same. It's still fluffy, it's still soft, because the air bubbles, they're all open. Completely open. Yeah, there, there's nothing that can, that can really happen there. So we've already taken our dough, we've put it in the vacuum chamber, we've let it repressurize, and we've put that in the oven. So now I actually wanna try and bake some when it's still under low pressure. To do that, we're going to be using these mason jars. These jars are actually designed to just be vacuumed already, usually for canning style stuff, but the idea is that if you have the ring here on really loosely, then the lid can still move a little bit, air can get out, but then there's like a built-in rubber seal around it right there, which will just suction down on and hold it in place. So we're gonna take one of these pieces of bread, we're gonna throw it in the jar, I'm going to put this whole thing in the vacuum chamber and I'm not going to tighten the lid down all the way. I'm just gonna have it on there just tight enough that it's gonna not let the, this main disc move around. We're gonna put this whole thing in the vacuum. Suck out all the air, let the air back in, and it should catch it and just keep it vacuumed. All right, let's try. Oh, and there it goes, expanding. Yay! Say when. Let's take it as vacuumed as it'll get, so give it another minute. We should try one that's completely fluffy. It's about as much as it's gonna get, so I'm gonna let air back in. Oh, it actually shrunk a little. A little. I am gonna put the lid, I'm gonna tighten that now. Yes, now we tighten the lid down on. So we have almost a vacuum inside this jar. There's a little bit of air that didn't get pulled out, but it's still very low pressure. Here's the tricky thing, cooking this will be difficult because a vacuum doesn't conduct heat. So we can't really have hot air hitting the dough because there's no air. So we're gonna try something that is not recommended by the manufacturers of these jars. We're actually just gonna put this whole jar in the oven and we're gonna see if we can get this bread to cook. There is a chance that the jar could just shatter. If that happens, we will not be eating the bread because it might be full of like glass dust or something. But we're gonna try it and there see if it works. I also wanna try in this smaller jar, taking one of our cinnamon rolls, okay. but the frozen one, oh, okay. put it in here, vacuum, depressurize, and then see if we can cook it in the microwave like this. Let's get that one ready to go. Let's get both of these cooking and then let's take our other bread out of the oven. About the same. Cinnamon roll? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Well, I am curious about these three. Me too. So this is the one that you squished. This is uh, the one that we had vacuumed and then just collapsed. And this was the biscuit. Pillsbury biscuit, got it. Wow, that is a dense bread. Hmm, mostly cooked all the way through. Yeah. That part down at the bottom, not so much. If this was a cooking show, they would just be escorting us off set right now. Paul Holly would be, would be so mad. Oh my gosh. He hates raw bread. Gordon Ramsay is disappointed in us. I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this Pillsbury one. That looks super dense. It still tastes like bread. Yeah. But it is pretty dense and a little chewy. I stand by my statement. This is like eating pasta. Weird. Like if you made, um, if you turn pasta into uh, just like a loaf, that's the texture. Let's try our roll in a vacuum and see what that's gonna do. I'm not sure if that's still under a vacuum. I think it looks like the lid has popped up now. I think it's gonna have done the same thing the one the microwave did. It's I think just it's what you steam, were saying, yep. But honestly, that looks like a perfectly cooked roll. Oh yeah, that's that's yep. not under vacuum anymore. You and I did. Oh, I, right yeah, now. you recalled this. You said exactly this would happen. The seal holding it on just melted. There's probably a reason that these jar makers tell you do not bake things in jars in the oven. Weird. Especially with the lids on. So we tried. Just dump it out. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did it. Careful, because this is hot too. <laughs> these are good at heat resistance, but they're not super grippy on glass and. Steel. This may be the most perfectly cooked roll I have ever roll. seen. Good Smells roll. good. I'm gonna break it in half. Do it. Ready? Nice crispy outside. Yeah. It looks like a steamed bun, honestly. That does look pretty wow. light and fluffy. Wow. What? I guess we haven't compared what? it to a normal roll that we just cook in the oven. Okay, but it's crispy all the this way is, around. This normally, is like as good as you could hope for in a roll. Yeah, when you cook them normally in the oven, I feel like they, they still have like some softness on the bottom. This one's crunchy even on the even on the bottom. Mm-hmm. I don't care for bread, but that is a perfectly cooked roll. That's bizarre. Maybe holding the steam in, maybe I, I'm sure there was a vacuum in there for some amount of the cooking time. True. I don't know exactly when it failed, when that rubber seal went out, but it could have helped. This definitely went in quite puffed up. It did. And this is a very light, airy roll here. Um, it was nice, crispy outside. I think it's very impractical to say that you would want to try and cook a lot of rolls like this, Be or even cool. repeatedly, because it does kind of ruin our jar lids. Maybe if we had a high temperature rubber seal type thing that could really take those temperatures, we could try it under more of a vacuum at some point. But for the most part, we tried putting it in. It was in a vacuum and we put it in the oven. It did raise it up. And this really did turn out like as a very, very light yeah. and fluffy roll. But again, even the bottom's crunchy. There's no squishy doughy outside. That's perfect. Bread in a vacuum chamber. Slice bread, no effect. Nothing. Dough. Uh, raises yeah. a little and kind of flaps up and down. You let the air back in and it all just turns into like a you hockey puck. You can make puck. some flat bread. I don't recommend it. It's no. not good. But bread in a jar in the oven. It was in a vacuum at first. Turned out pretty well. Yeah. About the same thing as with our frozen cinnamon roll. It went in in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that it's the steam as it cooks all of the water that's in there. A lot more volume. It just pushes the lid off. And in the case of the one in the oven, it actually ruined the seal as well. There you go. You guys all wanted to see it? Now you've seen it. Hey, have you checked out our Random Hacks subscription box yet? We'll send you a cool project every month with everything you need inside to make your own King of Random project. Just hit that box down there to check it out, and we'll see you there.